guys welcome to my channel so we're changing it up a little bit today this is not a couponing video but it is a good way to make side cash i'm always looking for a way to do like little jobs here and there and make a little extra money um so a few weeks ago i told you about a way i was doing that and it's called spark driving what it is is essentially i do mine mostly at walmart I know there's like a Target, Advanced Auto, all these different places that use Spark drivers. I always have just gotten offers from Walmart. So what you do is you download the Spark driver app. And then it's going to ask you to show like proof of your insurance. It does a background check on you and then you're good to go. I have a link, which when I started, I used someone else's um, referral code. So I'll put a link to a referral code. And when you do so many trips, it can, it'll give you extra money. I think I was able to earn up to 210 extra dollars just by using someone's referral code. Sometimes there is a waiting list in your area, depending where you live. I had to wait a couple months. So it all depends on where you live and what, how many drivers they need and how many they have. So basically, if you're doing it at a Walmart, there's two types of different trips. One, you just pull up at the curbside um, pickup area and then they load your car up with the groceries and you take it and deliver it to the house. It will give you an offer and you have like a few minutes to accept the offer. It'll tell you how far away it is and that's just the mileage to the house, not back to Walmart, so keep that in mind. It will tell you how many miles, what they ordered, depending on your vehicle size. Some people order a lot, so you wanna see if it's a small, medium, large, or extra large order. And then it will tell you how much the delivery um, pays you and if the customer is going to leave you a tip. But beware, because they have 24 hours, they can take their tip back. That is the one downside of spark driving that I hate, is that the person that orders the groceries can go back in later and take the tip back. Now, what I've noticed in my area, it's a lot of young kids that do the packing. Once they bring it out to your car, oh, I'll show you. They have bags like this, Walmart bags, and they pack them in those. Now. Those kids will just throw stuff in a bag and like smush your bread. So I always get out and I help. Plus it makes it go by faster. You don't want to smush people's food or break their eggs because there goes your tip. I haven't had a lot of tips taken away and usually people tip fairly well. Um, I've been doing orders this morning. I've done three and I've already made over $75. My next order is they're going to pay me $24 and I'm only going three and a half miles. You are well compensated for your gas money. Um, people say gas is so high. You get paid plenty for the mileage that you're going. If you're going more miles and a bigger order, you're going to make more money. Now, the other type of trip you can do is like a shop and pick or a shop and deliver. What you do is you get their list. It shows you what they want and you go in the store and you pick it up. It'll give you pictures, it'll tell you what aisle, what section, and then you scan the barcode on the item to make sure you got the right item. So there's little room for error. Um, I like to do it in the morning because there's not a lot of people in there. Offers start dropping at about 20 past the hour. So about 7.20 is usually when I get my first offer. It's really, really easy. You just get all their stuff. You go up to the register. You scan the code on the register, the little barcode. And usually it'll let, just let you go through. Sometimes you have to wait for an associate and they just check your stuff. You get the bags from the spark driver, um, from the Walmart people. And then you go to your car, you bag it all up and you just deliver it. With the curbside pickup orders, you're scanning a barcode that on a sticker they'll give you when you pick them up. For the shop and delivers, you just deliver them. Now when you get to somebody's house, you put, it'll prompt you. It gives you a navigation. You hit navigate when you go to take off and it's like a GPS, it tells you where you're going. And then when you get there, 
you scanned the sticker, you put everything on their doorstep, you take a picture, and you leave. Most of the time, it's contactless delivery. I think out of about 55 or so deliveries I've done, I've had maybe three or four where they want to sign for it. You can ring the bell, you can knock, or you can just leave. These people order the groceries. They know they're, you're coming at some point, so they should keep an eye out. If it's raining or snowing, I'll knock or ring the bell just so they know it's there. I don't know how quickly the app notifies them. I've heard people say half an hour, 40 minutes, the app doesn't tell them their groceries are there for a while. So a knock or a quick doorbell ring after you've done all your stuff and taken your picture is always polite to do. Um, I haven't had any run-ins with like animals coming at me or weird people. And they always, so there's a little note section where they can say, hey, leave these on my back porch. The one thing I hate doing is going to like the fourth floor of an apartment. Those are the people that order like the water, the kitty litter. So you got to make sure you're looking at your order if you have any kind of physical restrictions. Just keep in mind you're going to be climbing some stairs if you live in an area with apartments. But it's just a really easy, easy way to make side money. I work a full-time job somewhere else and I just do this in my spare time and last week I made like $500. So it's really worth it. It's a great way, I'd say, for Christmas cash, but we're getting kind of close, and if you have a waiting period in your area, you might not make it, but just our extra bills. Oil, if you have to heat your house in the winter, um, just where prices of stuff have gone up, this really helps. Yes, the price, like I said, the price of gas is high, but you are well compensated for that. Um, if you want to, you're going to have to claim this money, obviously, on your taxes. So you want to keep track of your mileage or your gas money you used. I would absolutely do that. And how do they pay you? They pay you every Tuesday um, into an app called Branch. And what you can do is get a debit card or you can just link your bank account to the Branch app. And then we'll put the money right into your bank account for you when you transfer it. So it's super easy. You're not waiting for a paycheck. You know what day you're getting paid. Tips come through the next day. So like I got $50 in tips yesterday. I will see them on my account the next day. And then you have to wait till Tuesday to cash out. A lot of it was... When I first started, I just watched some YouTube videos on my way to Walmart to see how to do it. And then once I figured it out, it's kind of like a learning process. The first time I, one of the times I forgot the scan label for the sticker, you know, panic, panic. I didn't know what to do. It's very easy because they always have somebody on there you can call. You hit the help button and you can chat with somebody or you can call them and they will walk you through what you need to do if you have accidentally messed up. The one time I delivered to the wrong place, I was doing some deals um, like when people ordered for a Black Friday and I left an Apple Watch at the wrong place. The, score, the store called me by the time I got back here and told me that's why you take the picture and I went and I knocked back on the door because it was gone off the porch and the lady thank God gave it back to me and I went and found the right house so that was the one time that I was like oh my gosh and of course it was an Apple watch and it was really expensive and I was like I don't want to have to pay for this I think the lady was gonna keep it but thank God I banged on that door and she came out with it she said she was scanning it to see what it was right um, a lot of the time you're go, go, go. Sometimes you have to wait like at the 20 past an hour, it'll give, start giving out orders. And then if you accept one, those ones you usually pick up at like 745. So you can pull in at about 740 and they'll bring it out, which reminds me what time is it? Oh, I got to get going on my next delivery. Also, there are express deliveries where it comes out already bagged and you just go and it's like as soon as possible and you just bring it. Let me put you guys on pause because I got to go pick up my next delivery and I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, so I pulled in at 7, I mean, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's like 9.43 in the morning. This has a pickup time of 9.45. I pulled in, I clicked confirm on my app that I was here, and I put that I'm in parking spot one, and now I sit and I wait till they bring it out. I can't really show you um, 
like when I drop it off because it's people's addresses and stuff and I don't want to violate anyone's privacy or the privacy of the people that work here so what they do is they'll bring it out in these blue totes I'll bag it up put it in my car and go deliver it and then when I'm done I hit like complete delivery and then that opens me up to take more offers you don't have to wait till you're back to the store to take more offers just check the time you're supposed to be there and make sure it's gonna work with your driving time to get back and that's about it guys simple 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 pick them up drop them off go shopping pick them up drop them off and that's all if anyone has any more questions I will gladly answer them I'd like to show you like more of it but I just don't want to violate anyone's privacy um, referral code I'll put below use it if you decide to do it because mine was like I could make up to 210 extra dollars they do do incentives throughout the week so like on a Tuesday to Wednesday if you pick up eight trips I think I get like 65 more dollars it changes every week but it's always good extra money all right guys I'll talk to you later and I'll probably be bringing you another couponing video in a couple days. All right, bye.